New at 530, it couldn't have come at a better time. An incredible art display that's doing more than just piquing interest in Norfolk. It's feeding the hungry. I came upon this yesterday at Slova Library. It was so cool, I just had to go back today so I could show you how we can all make a difference. Feast your eyes on this. I loved the peas in the pot. It did win the best original design. Full cans of food, now works of art, constructed by engineers and architects who want to build a better community. I think construction is awesome because what it does is it leverages talents people have to fight hunger. From an alien spacecraft abducting hunger to a Rubik's Cube emulating the many faces of hunger through emojis, their messages in a library frequented by the homeless hit home. It does hit home. We actually had about four or five cans taken from the peas in the pod. That story speaks to the need seen at the Food Bank of Southeastern Virginia as generous holiday donations dwindle. We do see less food that's coming in. Construction will fill these empty shelves and eventually empty stomachs. We'll get um, over 20,000 canned goods. Construction has provided more than 30 million pounds of food since it began nearly 20 years ago. It originated as a team building exercise at a New York architecture firm. I often saw that, you know, well, the designers are on that side, we're on this side, and, you know, never the twain shall meet. Deborah Gill helped turn it into an international charity. And then it really did give an opportunity at least once a year for the, for the whole office to come together and get behind something that was valuable. And still is. That's why she brought it back after a two-year hiatus in Hampton Roads, sending the message that whatever your talent, share it, and you can make a difference. And if you want to see this display in person, and I recommend it, you're going to have to hurry. The cans come down at 7.30 in the morning. The Slover Library is open until 8 o'clock tonight.